So today oh, we are going to do the compression test on the 2100 Prelude. With this. And the rest of the thing we need at the back of the car. <laughs> All that you have to do is just take out the spark plugs, wires, take the cover off if you have one, take out the fuel fuse out. Fuel pump fuse. Fuel pump fuse, there you go. Good English. Thank you, I'm Paul. And then for this model, you have, all that you have to do, ours needs an adapter. The piece that we're using works for lawn mowers and practically anything. Technically, so, everything that has a spark plug. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty nice one. Plus it was, a it was $32 at Canadian Tire. But um, all that you do, you just have to very roughly compare it to the spark plugs, make sure the threads are the same. And then you just wrap it in there. All you have to do is just screw it in. And you just kind of start screwing it in, and it's already holding. You just do it gently, and it should pop right in. And you just, you just do it tight, or like snug. So once you feel like wrapping like that, you don't go anymore. Or else you might get the tool stuck in there like we did. Okay. Here, here, I'll film, I'll film. Okay, so he's going to go in there, and he's going to put his foot to the floor, and crank it until I tell him to stop. Yeah. And then so we're going to watch the gauge jump up. Okay, you're good. And then you see there, we got about 60, just it's almost in between there, so we're at about 60 pounds there. About 60, 65. Or 160 to 165. Which is good, it's in the green. Rest of them, and just compare. That's all you have to do. Later, you just have to put the and fuel fu fuse inside, put the spark plugs, wires back up, done. And you want to make sure that um, all the all of them are constantly along each other. You don't want them very roughing, kind of like what we've had. <coughs> Mine. So we have to see what the hell that is. Here, I can pull it up because I have it right this is my car and uh, it kind of sucks that way that it has that compressor ratio problem. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you won't even notice it when you're driving it. it no, I didn't! It <laughs> <laughs> 2.5 <laughs> liter, here we go. Oh yeah, and that's probably going to throw a turbo somewhere on there. Okay, so that's what we got. We got cylinder 1, 25, cylinder 2, 150, cylinder uh, 3, 123, and cylinder 4, 160. They should be all quite close to each other, about 5 to 10 pounds. Not difference. like this. Yeah. So, that's just another job. We'll do on the rest of our cars and see. <laughs> because we all we'll, yeah, we'll, we, there's three of us that have preludes. So we'll compare all three of them and see what everyone gets. And plus this battery is so it might interfere. When I'll get a new battery, I'll redo it, of course, and show you but guys if it changed or not. If it will change, then it will definitely let you know, guys. It's tanking the motor. It's pressuring the it's pressuring more air in there before the valves can close. Yeah. But uh, it's not. Could be. Yeah, you could. Your timing will set that off. Or you could be. Yeah. If you, have an old, if you have an old belt, what you're at like just over 200. So I'm pretty sure it hasn't been done since at least 100,000 or so. Yeah. So you probably do need a time. Yeah. Hey, either way, I need both of the belts because well, all of the belts. Sorry, because this one's already the serpentine's already screwed a bit. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the time bell hasn't been touched. That should be fun for the third time.